Hello and welcome to Visual Basic tutorial number 9 and in this tutorial we're going to be looking at some basic string manipulation and this is going to be the first in a two part series about string manipulation and we're going to cover three different functions um, used for string manipulation in this tutorial. These are also the most basic um, functions and I'll show you how they work now. Uh, the three functions that we're going to be covering are the len function, the ucase function, and the lcase function. And I don't believe we've really used any functions so far, so this could be a nice little introduction to functions as well. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go straight ahead and show you the ucase function. I'm going to dim a, um, a word as string. Okay, so we're going to dim this word as a string. And we're going to give this word a value, so we'll put word equal to hello. And this is going to be quite self-explanatory, really, because I'm just going to um, show you how the function works, and then we'll write it out to the screen. You can see the difference. <coughs> Excuse me. What the what the um, function actually does to the string. And to simply do, use a function, you write the function name, in your case, an open bracket, and then you may have noticed this before, but I'm going to point this out just in case. Um, right here, we actually have a sort of little prompt that tells you about what you can put in this bracket and what's kind of accepted. But if you know what you're doing, you don't really need to know that, but it's always useful to you know, have it there as a, a little reminder. Um, UK, um, we'll put the variable word. And you'll see what this does when I run the program, and it's going to be quite self-explanatory. Uh, we'll do a console right to line and we'll write word. Um, we need to actually make word equal to UK's word um, because UK's word um, does the function but it doesn't actually store the answer anywhere so you have to store the answer in a variable so we're just going to overwrite the word variable here console.readline save oops let's click on that and, oh, I'm not really, I would save this, and, and bear with me while it saves, and I'll run it straight after. It has to create all the project files, which takes time, unfortunately. There we go. Run that. It's been terribly slow today. There we go. <coughs> Got quite a bad cough as well, which is nice. There we go. And as you can see, it's changed the original string hello, which was a capital letter followed by four lowercase letters, into um, an all caps word. Now, you can probably find some uses for that. I'll also show you what L case does, um, which is pretty uh, self explanatory. It's basically the opposite of uppercase. Oops. I'm a bit tired. Hello, all capitals, there we go. And L case basically converts it all to um, lowercase. Simple. Now, the next one I'm going to cover is len. And we need to do a len as an integer. Now, what len does, it basically just returns the length of the string. So we can put here length equals len, which is the function name, open bracket and then the word, which is the variable. And that will actually get the amount of characters. And as you can see, hello has got five characters in it. We'll then work, write the length out to the screen. And there we go, five. And you might not be thinking that that's very useful yet. But when we come to the next video, we're going to be covering um, how we can actually use uh, len, uh, which gives you the length of the word or the string uh, to actually manipulate the string further and I'm going to keep it nice and short and do the rest of the string manipulation in the next video so I hope that's uh, been useful a little look at functions there and also the very basic string manipulations 